Focus Ireland. Focus Ireland has a long and proud tradition of customer participation in its work. Focus Ireland was even first established from customer participation. The organisation was established by Sister Stanislaus Kennedy in 1985 after she worked with women who were homeless in Dublin. This led to a piece of research which identified services needed for people who are homeless. The results showed the importance of involving people who are homeless to help inform service development. Listening to customers has always been central to the work of Focus Ireland and its customers have taken part in many important pieces of research over the years. Focus Ireland has a commitment to involving our customers in all the different aspects of our services. Um, my job as the services standards officer was set up really to get customers, give quality services to customers. Over the past six or eight months I've been tasked with developing a customer involvement strategy um, and Part of that has been actually asking customers, what do you want our services to look like? What do you think they should be? We've had a very good example of, of customer participation in Focus Ireland, which was um, our take part research. We decided that what would be really useful would be to get a group of customers from across the organisation um, to interview them and say, you know, this is an actual job for a six month period and you will be paid. Um, but your role is to be a peer researcher. So to actually go and talk to people who are in our variety of services and to focus in on the Focus Ireland values um, and to ask them what values are relevant to them as customers of this organisation and then to unwrap them a little bit to say this is the value of safety and what does safety mean to you. So over a six month period that group of researchers did uh, training. They did capacity building in terms of their own skills in researching and in interviewing, in public speaking, in you know recording and documentation, in, in writing up reports. Um, then they went and they, they interviewed customers um, from across the organisation. They interviewed staff from across the organisation. Um, then they did a literature review and they put together a, a report to say these are our findings based on all of this feedback and that was fed into the organisation um, and out of that came our customer charter and that was a really key piece for them, for, for those customers who were the researchers to see a product at the end of that and for the people who'd been involved all across it to actually say well, well we actually got something out of that, there was a very tangible outcome. It was also something that gave a lot of value to Focus Ireland and a lot of um, protection to, to our customers. The purpose of participation in Focus Ireland is to give opportunities in, in all of our services for customers, customers to be involved at an, a level that's appropriate for them. One of Focus Ireland's key values is empowerment. The charity is always seeking new ways to involve customers in its work and empower them and show their achievements. This has included media coverage of students gaining awards from Focus Ireland's education courses. Also, customers were involved in making the Focus Ireland education DVD for schools called Finding a Way Home. Customers also contribute to magazines produced to help advance policy work for Focus Ireland. Focus Ireland has also held exhibitions of artwork and photography produced by its customers. Some customers even recorded a Christmas CD to help raise awareness about homelessness and funds for Focus Ireland services. Focus Ireland always involves customers in its campaign work, including its current campaign to secure a legal right to aftercare. The charity held workshops with some young people to help inform the development of this campaign work. Well, coming from my experience, there needs to be legislation for aftercare, definitely. It's too hard for young people just to go out on their own at 18 and not know where to go and not have anyone to turn to. Customers were also involved in a magazine published to build support for this campaign. They even got to meet footballer Paul McGrath who kindly launched the magazine. 
and two young customers launched a special internet campaign to help promote these issues. The campaign is having a good impact and is helping efforts to improve things for young people leaving care in Ireland. Focus Ireland has found that by involving customers it makes sure their voices are heard and helps to build better support and media interest in any campaign. This DVD shows some brief examples of how powerful customer participation can be to help Focus Ireland in its work to advance solutions to homelessness. This work has also seen Focus Ireland use its own customer stories to develop a national TV advertising campaign. Here is one of the ads. After my parents split up, I never had a proper home. We moved flat six times one year, and then I was all alone. I made friends with a crowd who were into drugs. I knew it was dangerous, but I couldn't see any real. Then I heard about Focus Islands Hostel that helps drug users, and I got into a detox program. Now I'm clean, and I have an apartment and a job. And for once in my life, I feel like I have a future.